The HAL Tejas MK2 is India's most anticipated 4.5 generation multirole fighter jet, designed to replace aging fleets and empower the Indian Air Force with modern, indigenous capabilities. In this full length deep dive, we explore every aspect of the Tejas MK2, from its advanced avionics, aerodynamics, weapons systems, radar, and engine performance, to its strategic significance in the global aerospace arena. Fire get ready for an immersive 20,000 word review that blends technical depth with audience friendly storytelling, perfect for aviation geeks, defense analysts, and curious minds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more epic defense tech breakdowns. India hash to jasm to hashtag Indian Air Force hashtag health tejas hashtag defense review hash aero India 2025 hashtag made in India hashtag jet fighter hashtag LCA. Dash dash dash. Scroll script, HAL Tejas MK2 2025. First portion of approximately 20,000 words, continuous paragraph format, no titles. In the evolving theater of aerial warfare, where technology determines supremacy and nations race toward self reliance, the HAL Tejas MK2 stands as a pivotal milestone in India's defense journey. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited under the broader umbrella of the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, the Tejas MK2 is not merely an upgrade over its predecessor, it represents a quantum leap in capabilities, strategic intent, and technological sophistication. As the Indian Air Force aims to replace its aging fleet of MiG-29s, Mirage 2000s, and Jaguar Strike aircraft, the Tejas MK2 emerges as a potent solution that blends indigenous innovation with global-grade performance. With its origins rooted in the Light Combat Aircraft LCA, program, the MK2 version moves beyond the light category and steps into the medium-weight multirole fighter segment, creating a new standard in Indian aerospace engineering. From the moment you glance at the Tejas MK2, it's evident that this jet is designed for both agility and endurance. The airframe has grown longer than the MK1A, now extending to about 14.6 meters, allowing it to house more internal fuel and avionics. Its wingspan has been widened, and its canards, forward small wings near the cockpit, aren't just designed flourishes, they play a critical role in enhancing maneuverability and lift at lower speeds. The overall aerodynamic profile of the Tejas MK2 is that of a 4.5 generation fighter, optimized for reduced radar cross section without going fully stealth. A keen observer will note the refined shaping around the air intake and fuselage, which helps minimize radar reflections while still supporting supersonic airflow. It's a blend of stealth conscious design and practical efficiency, delivering performance without resorting to the full complexities of fifth generation stealth engineering. The engine is one of the defining components of any fighter jet, and in this case, the Tejas MK2 is powered by the mighty General Electric F414GE in 6 turbofan engine, delivering around 98 kN of thrust with afterburner. This engine marks a significant leap over the earlier F404 engine used in the Tejas MK1. With a top speed exceeding Mach 1.8 and a combat range stretching beyond 1,500 km without refueling, the Tejas MK2 is no slouch. Its ferry range, thanks to increased internal fuel capacity and external drop tanks, pushes closer to 3,500 km, making it ideal for long-range patrols and deep strike missions. The thrust-to-weight ratio, which hovers around 1.1 with full payload, ensures the jet remains agile even under combat loads. This engine also offers increased reliability and fewer maintenance demands compared to legacy systems, addressing one of the key pain points experienced with older aircraft in the IAF inventory. The cockpit of the Tejas MK2 is a leap into the future. Gone are the days of analog gauges and cluttered instrument panels. Instead, pilots are greeted with a panoramic touchscreen cockpit interface, featuring wide area multifunction displays WAMFD's digital moving maps, and fully integrated fly-by-wire systems. The hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS controls, coupled with helmet-mounted display systems HMDS, allow pilots to access mission-critical data and fire weapons simply by looking at their target and issuing commands via thumb controls. This cockpit setup drastically reduces pilot workload and enhances situational awareness during high G maneuvers or complex strike missions. Importantly, the Tejas MK2 will also feature voice command integration, 
letting pilots interact with systems using speech, much like modern combat systems in American or European jets. One of the hallmarks of a modern multirole fighter is its ability to carry a wide array of weapons and sensors, and the Tejas Mk2 rises to that challenge with confidence. It offers 11 hardpoints, up from 8 in the Mk1, allowing it to carry an impressive mix of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, anti-radiation missiles, and cruise missiles. From the Astra Beyond Visual Range missiles to the Israeli Derby and PYTHON-5, or even future indigenous solutions like the SFDR-based long-range missile, the MK-2 offers deep compatibility. For ground attack roles, it supports the DRDO Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon SAAW, laser-guided bombs, and BrahMos NG when miniaturized for fighter use. The aircraft is also being integrated with electronic warfare pods, reconnaissance sensors, and air-to-ground radar systems that enhance its battlefield versatility. All of these capabilities ensure that the Tejas Mk2 is not just a defensive asset but a strike-ready weapon platform. In the arena of radar and sensors, the Tejas Mk2 introduces significant upgrades. It will come fitted with the UTAM AESA radar, a fully indigenous active electronically scanned array system that offers long-range detection, tracking of multiple targets, and resistance to jamming. AESA radars are crucial in modern air combat because they can track and engage targets while remaining harder to detect by enemy radar. The UTAM radar's modular design also allows future upgrades, ensuring that the Tejas Mk2 can evolve over the coming decades. In tandem with this radar, the aircraft is integrated with advanced electronic warfare suites, radar warning receivers RWR, and countermeasure dispensing systems that greatly enhance survivability in contested environments. These sensor suites enable the pilot to detect, evade, or counter enemy threats before they pose a real danger, enhancing both offensive and defensive effectiveness. Survivability in modern air combat depends not just on weaponry but also on signature management and defensive countermeasures. While the Tejas Mk2 isn't a stealth aircraft, its design incorporates low observable characteristics, such as radar-absorbing materials and strategically shaped airframe surfaces. The air intakes are carefully contoured to reduce radar visibility, while the internal layout minimizes infrared emissions and heat signatures. Additionally, the onboard defensive systems include missile approach warning systems MAS towed decoys, and chaff flare dispensers, providing a multi-layered shield against radar-guided and heat-seeking missiles. These systems make the Tejas Mk2 a survivable asset in both symmetric and asymmetric warfare conditions, whether facing sophisticated air defenses or dogfights with enemy jets.